planners thanks so much for tuning in to my youtube channel it's me chloe from chloe tree plans and in this video i'm going to be reviewing the brand new erin condren teacher lesson planner i can't wait to get into this because not only did erin condren send me the planner itself but they also sent me tons of really cool accessories that you can use in your classroom or that you can purchase for a teacher in your life so let's not waste any time and get right into this video First, I'm going to cover a full review of this planner, and then I'm going to get into all of the coordinating accessories that go with the planner. I have writing tools, notepads, snap-in tools, stickers, folios, and much more. So you wanna make sure you wait until the end of this video so you can see everything included in this collection. The first thing I noticed about this planner was how beautiful this coil is. This is the multicolor coil that is brand new to the Erin Condren brand, and I really like how it looks on this planner with the Inspire cover. And as you can see, I have personalization here. It says Aspire to Inspire. So that is how personalization looks on this planner with this cover. So whether you're getting a life planner or a teacher planner, it has that kind of personalization for the Inspire cover. It also comes with a ruler. With this ruler, of course, you can measure so you can make your own lines, trace, things like that. And it also serves as a bookmark. When you open the planner, this is what the inside cover looks like. You can use markers to go ahead and write on this side. This is an eight and a half by 11, so it's quite a large planner. And if you are keeping this on your desk, I think it's perfect. For on the go, I would check out the soft bound one because it is a little bit more portable than this planner. This planner is a little heavy, but it has many different sections and lots of space for everything you need. So me as a teacher, when I was teaching high school, I would leave this kind of planner at my desk and keep it there, okay, for planning period, things like that. Personally, I just did not carry it back and forth. However, like I said, there is a more portable option, the softbound planner, and I will have the link to that as well in my description below, so you can check out the softbound one if you'd like. So getting into the first page, we have the name page, it has teacher lesson planner, and then on the inside, we have all about me with information and resources. It has classroom resources, professional development, all these things. For me personally, I used to like to use sections like this for uh, different extensions of teachers and staff that I needed as a resource. So I would put like their extension and things like that on, this, on these pages, something I can readily find. Here we have a communication log. Then we have 2023 and 2024. And we have January through June on this page and July through December on the other page. Next, we have a few graph pages, which I really like for planning. I also think it's great for seating charts. <laughs> so up here it says create seating charts, organize groups, track learning assessments, and log other important information. So it says log it, graph it, map it, group it, track it. You can use this section for whatever you want and get creative. Then we have a couple of lined pages here. And I really like how on the line pages, we have the Inspire design at the top. That design comes across really well in this planner and it looks great with the multicolor coil as well. We hop right on into July of 2023 in this planner. That is where it starts. And then this is our weekly spread. Now this weekly spread is one of my favorites because I feel like it is very versatile. Now, as a teacher, I would use this for different subjects, different areas, right? Um, and so in this case, if you're an elementary school teacher, you might have math, science, English, whatever that looks like. And um, me being a high school teacher, I mostly had like my different periods, like first hour, second hour, third hour, that kind of thing. And so you can do whatever you want when it comes to that section. Erin um, Condren does also have stickers that you can put there as well. So I think it's a really nice versatile area where you can make it what you want. You can also use this for social media planning and things like that if you are not a teacher. 
or if you are an education professional with different areas. So for example, I personally am a higher professional. So for me, I might put um, the different types of meetings that I have throughout the week at the top or the different types of tasks and areas. For example, I could have, you know, student meetings, staff meetings. Um, I could put uh, reports. I could put documentation, right? All these different areas of my job I could put here. So no matter if you are a teacher or you are in another field, you could totally make this a good work planner with different categories here. And so I think that it is truly versatile with you being able to kind of customize that top part for whatever it is that you want. As far as the color is concerned, it starts off as a really dark blue and then it kind of gets, you know, ombre towards the bottom and goes into a lighter blue. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip to the end. And so at the end of the month, now you have a lined page back here, two line pages, three line pages, four almost. So you get like almost four full line pages. I mean, we can count this as a separate area, but almost four full line pages, which I think looks really nice. My only critique would be, I would love for this design or the other design to be on these pages too. I just think it looks so good, um, but that's not really you know something that bothers me about the planner. I would just like to see that design on more pages. Let me know in the comments if you were to get the teacher planner, what you would like to use it on. We can brainstorm together, talk about different options. That's my favorite part of creating YouTube videos. So let me know in the comments what you think. Of course, if you're interested in this planner, you can check it out with the link in my description below. If you don't know where the description is, it's usually to the right or to the bottom of this video. There should be some type of arrow or button that allows you to open up the description near the title of this video. Once you open that up, you'll be able to see all the different links and you can follow me on other socials as well if you'd like to stay connected. This August spread has really pretty yellows and when you have a month that is split, so for example, I should say a week that is split between two months, you have one color where that month ends and another color where that new month begins. So that is why we have blue at the top and yellow. So if you've ever been confused about that, that's why some of the spreads have that is because it lets you know that this Monday was on July and Tuesday was on August by the color coordination. Now I'm going to go ahead and flip through each month and at the end of the planner, we have even more fun sections. So stick around so you can see the back of the planner and what other fun features are there. So this planner goes all the way from July of 2023 to July of 2024. And when you get into the back of the planner, you have a couple more notes pages here. And then you have the checklist section. So it has a checklist tab here and you have your student checklist on this side and it goes all the way through. So we have one, two, I'll, I'll say this is one. So one, two, 18, 19, 20. So you have 20 student checklists. So you would have one for each month. Um, I think that's a cool strategy to have. Uh, when I was teaching, I had different things I needed students to turn in each month. This would have been a nice way to, to keep track of that. Of course, we do most schools do have some type of power school or electronic resource to track grades, but this might be good for tracking different things in class, uh, different fun activities, whatever that looks like for each student. When you flip all the way to the back, now we have these really cool stickers here. Um, I think they look really nice and I could see them looking really nice inside of the planner. So we have like parent-teacher conference, don't forget testing, report due, if after school, no school, staff meeting, things like that. I could totally see myself using a lot of these as well. And then we have a similar teacher-related stickers here as well. 
important field trip, conference, assembly, reminder, important, I already said important, take note, break, etc. And then here, I really like these tabbed stickers here. These actually work for the weekly view. So I would, I'll go ahead and show you how they fit perfectly in here. If you like a good sticker like I do, those stickers do fit. So I would definitely use those. And then in the very, very back, we have even more stickers you can use for your monthly view or weekly view. And we have a wonderful pocket back here. But that's not it. In addition to this pocket, which is huge and fits a full size sheet of paper. So you could put anything back here. This fits a full like standard, you know, printer paper sheet. And so in addition to that, you have even more stickers with different holidays and observances back here. And you can use these different stickers for your monthly view or your weekly view. I personally like using them in the monthly view of my planners. So you have these. And in addition to these wonderful stickers, we have our clear pockets, which I'm always a big fan of. These are three full clear pockets that you can put different paper, seating charts, whatever it is that you might want to print out and put inside of here, you can put it inside. I went ahead and grabbed a full sheet of paper and just put it in so you could really like see how it looks inside. So imagine having, you know, an announcement from the school, something that you printed out and being able to just put that full sheet of paper in this planner. And it's basically like it's laminated and added to your planner. I love it. That is my favorite thing, honestly, about the TLP. I wish that there were more planners with this, but it does make it a nice exclusive item with the teacher lesson planner. The fact that that fits all the way. So this is eight and a half by 11 again. So nice size to fit everything you need inside. And this is the back cover. And that's what it looks like on the back. So I really like the TLP. Again, it is from July to July. I think it's a really nice planner. I have used it for years for social media planning. And the way that I do that is by taking this section and dividing it by social media category. So Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, um, you know, whatever that looks like, my blog, my website, like that is how I use it for business and social media. And I could totally see this being great for businesses. You could have admin tasks, promo, right? All these different sections for your business if you're an entrepreneur or if you are looking to have different sections. I've also seen people use it as a family planner, right? Um, house, car, husband, kids, like whatever that looks like if you are a homemaker. Um, I think this is a great planner for that as well. I could also see this being a great planner for um, any kind of homeschooling parent uh, or nanny or professional um, I just think it's a great planner for folks from all different walks of life, careers, etc. So I think this is a great planner. I do want to show you the coordinating accessories. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the new folio. This is the Champagne Vegan Leather Folio. It is very light, honestly, for the kind of folio it is. So I want to see how it looks. So as I open it up, that is what it looks like on the inside. It has a pocket here, as well as a pocket that goes all the way through here. We have our pen loop here. And on the other side, we have our pockets here, here at the top, and here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is just take the back cover of this planner, slide it in, and it fits really well in here. There was really like barely any resistance, but it still feels snug some way. And then when you cover it, that is what it looks like with the cover all the way snapped on, which I think it looks really cool. If you want to, you know, have your planner at work, but you also want to kind of like cover it up, keep it protected, professional. I think this is a great folio for that. Next up, we have this alternate cover. These covers do come off, they are removable. So what happened is I just I just pulled the other cover right off. And then this one, you just put it in by pressing down here. So I do like these covers because it makes you feel like you have a brand new cover and you get to pick your cover. So if you don't like the Inspire cover, there are other cover options. And I personally really do like this cover. I think it looks really nice with this coil as well. It still coordinates, but there are definitely plenty of options when it comes to the cover. So definitely check out the alternate covers Erin Condren has, whether you want to spruce up your planner or whether you'd like a different cover on your planner. 
The second cover they sent me was the Blush Vegan Leather. And this is what it looks like on the front. This is how it looks on the inside of the cover. And this is, of course, the back cover over here. So I just wanted to show how it looked on. So again, you just push down and the cover goes right on. And this is how it looks, okay? I think it looks really good. I actually really like it with this cover on. I almost prefer it over the plastic. I just think it's nice and sleek. It is very, very light, but it doesn't seem to be coming off easily. So we like that. I like this cover a lot. I say go for it if you're on the fence. I really like this as an alternate cover to this planner. Next up, we have this notepad set. With this set, you have an Apple sticky notepad as well as the Inspire, which I really like this one. I can't wait to use it. We also have this one that says before school, after school, which I can use because I do work with students in school, as well as this one with the Inspire and the Apple. I really like these designs so far. Next up, we have this one that says prep grade contact. I like this a lot. And of course you could like, you know, change this to whatever you want with stickers. It could say plan, um, it could say follow up, it could say whatever you want. As long as you, you know, cover that up, you can make these sections whatever you want. But I do also like that it says prep grade contact. And then we have priorities and prep here, which I think is nice. And it has the, the little area here we can write the date. And last but certainly not least, the top three. I love a good top three. And it has the days of the week here you can circle. So I really like these sticky notes. I think they all have great productivity layouts. Um, and so I love a good productivity layout when it comes to my planners as well as my accessories. So I like these a lot. Next up, we have a vegan leather folio clipboard, which I really like. I'm not sure if it's coming across on camera, but it has this really pretty rose gold asterisk design that reminds me of the Canva design. And it has it on both ends. I like that a lot. It's so pretty. And when you put it down, you can open it up like a book. When you open it on this side, we have a pocket with some pen loops and they are stretchy, which I like. And then on this side, we have the clipboard, which I think looks really good. I love a good clipboard. So I definitely think this is a nice folio. Honestly, this feels really good. Like it's really soft. It has a really nice feel to it. If you're on the fence about getting this for yourself or as a gift, I say go for it. I really like this product a lot. And you know, if I don't like a product, I will tell you on my channel that it's just me. I like this product a lot and I cannot wait to take it to work. Um, I know that I will use it for different events and things that I have going on at work. Next up, we have new writing tools and the dual tip list markers and dual ink dual tip highlighter pens are two of my faves from this collection. I went ahead and did a swatch here for you to see all the different colors and different options you have in these packs. This first set up here is from this pack. Now I will say the one thing that I was a little curious about was in this section here, I noticed that the hot pink, aloe, and navy all have black ink while the orchid, lagoon, and gray colors all have the different inks that match the stamp and i wish it was a little more consistent i wish each stamp had the coordinating color you know if i am stamping in this hot pink color then you would think that i would want to you know also write in it i could maybe see because they expect us to use a different color to stamp it in so for example i am making a little check box there and then i guess i could use a different color to go ahead and put the check in maybe, you know, I don't know. I'm not quite sure why it was done that way, but I personally would have liked to see it done a little differently. I would also have liked to see a black check box um, because I like to use check boxes in a lot of my spreads. So it would have been nice to have a black one like this one. Um, we do have gray, so that's probably the one I'll use. But honestly, I think this will work great in my petite planner, my life planner, other planners that I use from Erin Condren. So I would actually like to see how this looks in other planners in addition to the teaching planner. But I think that this will fit perfectly on the teaching planner lines. So 
I think it's a nice tool, you know, to be able to have these boxes and things in that section. Now in the second section here, we have the dual ink, dual tip highlighter pens with all its various colors. It has some really cool colors in this pack. I think they knocked it out of the park and I love that it has all these colors. One of the added benefits of having the black ink on the other side is you can just go ahead and write right there on the actual ink. So I'm just gonna write to do and it works pretty well. I don't really have any issues with it like ripping through the paper or bleeding through, no bleed through from what I've seen. And so I think it's a really nice, it's a really nice pen. I like how it looks. If you look at the back there, you know, really no bleed through. You can see some shadowing, but it's not bleeding through to the other page or anything like that. So I love how bright these colors are. And honestly, I think this is up there. If I were torn between some of the different accessories, I honestly would prioritize this pack of pens if you're just starting out, because if you want to make different headers and things like that in your planner, you could do that. I'll probably make a full video on how to just like use markers for a spread in the teacher planner, because I think it would be really easy and fun to do. And then also you have your washi down here and I think the washi makes it really easy to have cute little decoration in your planner without doing too much so if you like some simple color added this is a nice washi set as well next up we have the sticker book it says cool for school it has those signature apples on it and when you open it we have more of those stickers that go inside of the teacher planner at the top those little headers that i was showing you this works for that perfectly and i really like it for that when i use the teacher planner we then go into some functional boxes there as well as some cool important labels like meeting conference testing iep i think these are you know different stickers that I use most commonly. So I like that they use things that are very common. I think conference isn't as common as testing, IEP and meeting, but hey, is what it is, right? Um, next up, we have more of the same uh, types of stickers with field trip, assembly, observation, tutoring, development, personal day, planning, early release, break begins, break ends. Um, and so I think these are some, some good ones to add as well. Here is the next page. And we have some quotes here, as well as more of those stickers that can go at the top and some circle stickers as well. And then we have our little stickers here. I really like the colors this year. I think the colors are really nice. I'm not sure if they're coming across on camera, but I think these colors are really cute for this year's planner and they match really well with the theme. Next up, we have this teacher pad. I really like this paper pad. I think it uh, comes through really cute. It has that really good Erin Condren paper going on there, really thick. And it just says in my classroom at the top. It has some cute little classroom teaching accessories here. And each page is the same in this one. It is a paper pad, not a sticky pad. So you don't have anything sticky on the back. It's just a one pager. Next up, you have the teacher record book. I'm really excited about this book because it is bigger than the petite planner size. It is wider and that makes me think that maybe one day we will get something else this size. It seems to be the A5 size and when you open it up, it says teacher record book on the inside and then it has the class schedule on this side, classroom events and dates, communication log, you have your grid pages here, your student checklist, just like in the planner. And this goes all the way through. This is a record book, so that goes all the way through to here. It's about half of the book with your student checklist. And then here you have lined pages. So half of it is the student checklist, half of it is lined pages. You can see here, okay? And I really like this record book. I personally am trying to figure out how I can use this for like habit tracking or something because I love it. I love the size. I'm really excited about this product if you can't tell. And I think it's just because I'm hoping we get something else A5 size like this that is also um, this like bound planner. So I'm excited about this. I'm hoping we get a notebook like this. I'm hoping we get a petite planner like this, a monthly planner. Like I want more in this size. So Erin Condren, if you're listening, that is what I'm hoping for. 
Last but certainly not least, I'm pulling the planner back out to show you the snap in accessories here. So the first snap in accessory has to do looking ahead on one side. On the other side, it has copies, grade, contact. And you can use wet erase or dry erase markers on this. I do have wet erase and dry erase from Erin Condren. So if that's something you're interested in, I'll make sure I put the links in the description just so you can kind of see how this looks. So I think these markers are perfect for this kind of thing. Um, and then in addition to this snap in dashboard, we have another more full page one here. It says learn from yesterday, teach for today. And here you can snap that one in too. And it has each day of the week, which I think is cool. I personally used to like to use this for lunch because my students would always ask what's for lunch and they'd be interested in that. And so I would just put it on here and put it somewhere up in the classroom. Um, but of course, I could, you could also keep it in your planner. It also has like a before school and after school routine on this side, which I actually like. And on the back, it has create hope for tomorrow. It has six blank sections that you can use for whatever you want. And I plan to use this actually for myself because I think this is a great layout for me because I do have school every day to go to. I mean, I don't work in a classroom anymore, but I am at school. So I think this is great. And so here, if you wanted to put the lunch for each day, you know, you could put here. I really like how this section looks. Um, so this is the wet erase. And then on the back, right, you can make these sections whatever you want, which I think is a really nice feature. I like the snap-ins a lot this year. I can't lie. This is one of my favorite ones of all of them that they came out with this year from this launch and from the Life Planner launch. So if you are not a teacher, but you're thinking this planner might work for you, let me know in the comments what you'd like to use this for. If you are a teacher, let me know in the comments how you've enjoyed this planner in the past or if you plan on trying it for the first time. I'd love to hear about that in the comments. And I'd love to know if you're not into this one, if you're thinking about getting the vertical planner, because that is also a planner that I think has a great way of organizing as well. So let me know in the comments what planner you plan on getting this year for 2023 or 2024. I'd love to know that in the comments below. Let me know if you're planning on grabbing this planner. I was not paid for this review, so if you choose to use the link in my description below, it is the only way I'm compensated, so I really do appreciate everyone who considers using my link. It does not cost you anything additional. However, if you use the sign-up link in the description below, you can get a $10 off coupon off of your first order, and there's a discount for teachers. So definitely check out the links in my description below to see more details about the teacher discount and more. I'd be happy to converse with you in the comments, so again, don't forget to comment below so I can chat with you and give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.